I'm just really blessed, I think, to, to be able to say football's my job. Football is my love, it's my passion, it's in my blood. It used to be really bad because of my busy lifestyle, I never used to eat breakfast. So now, every single day, I make sure I'm eating breakfast. I feel like I'm um, Delia Smith or something. <laughs> That's my nice little loaded porridge. This is my room, it's sort of nice and simple, I've just redecorated it. This is something I had in my room in the Olympics. It's a nice Team GB poster. My England caps, they're really cool things to keep and obviously a reminder of sort of the prestige of playing for, playing for England. No, I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. You know, flat caps are in and all that, but no. This, this bit's not really doing it, is it? <laughs> Today it's, um, it's more of a technical session because there's probably only going to be eight, nine of us who are sort of the professional players. In, in, kill, in! Ah! 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 No way in my imagination would I ever have thought that <laughs> I had a baby girl who would play football. She started playing football probably when she was about five. Yeah, with the boys as well. <laughs> so she did well. Obviously, the genes are from my dad, you know, the footballing genes. He's a very good footballer himself. But yeah. certainly, in terms of the sacrifices, you know, my mum made a lot We're of sacrifices. We're quite sporty in my family, too. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I think what's great is, 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 first of all, the characters that Emma Hayes has brought in. You know, everyone is, is buying into where we're trying to go. Football is my work now, and it's, it's not seen as work in my eyes. It's just coming here and, and doing what I love doing every day, and you, you feel blessed to do that. We had the opportunity to train four times a week, and uh, I didn't want to pass that up. So it really was my decision to have two half days um, from the office so that I could fit in training in the daytime. So here we are on side law. It's a very quiet office, so we'll have to be quiet. It's a completely different environment. Um, but I suppose you've got to draw from the different sides of yourself. We are a law firm that really trade on the fact that we understand the business of sport and we understand sport itself. So the fact that Annie is playing professional football is useful for us. It means that she really understands the industry, she understands the issues that we're dealing with. Right, so now we're off to Stamford Bridge for a little look round. Um, Stamford Bridge is in Chelsea, which is sort of five minutes from, from Fulham where I work, so it's actually really nice to work in an area where uh, I suppose you, you play for that club as well, so it's worked out really nice. I've never actually been in here before, so this is, um, hi, this is um, interesting. Look how cute! <laughs> I might buy one of these for my little brother. So here's the legend that is Didier Jogba. What a picture. You know, the guy is, is going to be a legend forever because of the manner in which he uh, won the Champions League for Chelsea. And I think that's what it's about, you know, it's about becoming a legend for your team. And that's a good amount of trophies. It's just inspiring. It's, it makes you feel privileged to be part of a club that are doing well and have got that level of expectation on you. Mourinho looking young and dashing. <laughs> I've, I've really re-engaged my passion actually with football. It's a really, really great time to be part of English women's football um, and I, I don't think I'd probably want to be playing in any other league in the world. If I die tomorrow, I would want to die with a, with a FAWSL Championship and, you know, get into the Champions League. Those are two things that I would really love.